More than 150 million Americans are estimated to play video games. 60% of them do so every day. Now researchers want to know how gaming impacts the brain. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more. 26-year-old Adam Brooker failed his freshman year in college after his gaming spiraled out of control. I would be laying in bed. I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, I just, I can't. I just can't do it. I can't go to class. I'm just going to play video games. And so Adam's I, mother wasn't concerned because he excelled academically in high school. I thought college was going to cure him <laughs> from his hobby or his addiction, but it didn't cure him. It made it worse. Esports have exploded in popularity on college campuses across the nation, raising long term physical and mental health concerns. I'm going to put a sensor here, here. To learn more about the impact, researchers at Ohio State University are wiring eSport athletes up, performing EEGs and stress tests to find out what happens during gaming. We see some of their stress levels go up a little higher. Uh, we see their heart rates get up a little bit higher. Psychologists say high school students who suffer from anxiety, depression, learning disorders, or have had a hard time turning the game off are most at risk in college. I knew that something was wrong. I was like, I can't keep doing this. And then the next day, I would wake up and I'd do the same thing again. After five years in the Army, Adam is back in college. Hi, I'm Adam. He's hoping more research will prevent those at risk from falling prey to video games like he did. Some of the preliminary research shows that gamers might have higher cognitive abilities, better attention spans, and are good at multitasking. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News.